Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to look about how we can use Python Tesseract in the cloud and specifically I'm going to use Oracle Cloud Data Science Service. The Python Tesseract project is a wrapper on the top of the Google Tesseract OCR engine. And the first thing that we're probably going to notice is that um, to be able to use this project we have to install the actual Tesseract OCR engine. So let's see how we want to do this. Um, I'm going to open the link, link here very quickly and look into the project itself. Now what I would like to do is I would like to use Conda environments. This is what I'm going to use in the data science service to install the Tesseract project. So let me see if uh, there is actually documentation about Conda. That there is no documentation that shows how to in actually install the uh, Google Tesseract project as a Conda environment. So uh, let's go and uh, Google this very quickly. So the first result here is from Anaconda, and this is what I was looking for. So this actually shows how we can install the uh, Tesseract project into a Conda environment. So we're going to utilize this. So let's go to our Oracle Data Science Service Cloud environment and start preparing it to be able to use the, Tes the PyTesseract project. So here I'm in my notebook. First, I'm going to create an empty Conda environment and then I'm going to install the uh, Tesseract into that Conda. So how to create an empty Conda environment? To create an empty Conda environment in an Oracle Data Science Service notebook, I'm going to use a CLI utility, which is called ODCS. And then I'm going to specify the name of the Conda environment uh, the slug of the Conda environment and the version of the Conda environment. So let's hit enter and create this empty Conda environment. So this creates MD Conda environment. So we now we need just to activate this Conda environment and done. So now with this, we can now go and take the this line here, which shows how to install the actual Google Tesseract OCR into our Conda environment. So let's install this before we install the PyTesseract. So this is going to take a minute or two. So we just need to wait and done. With this, we are able to install the uh, actual Google Tesseract OCR. So now we can go see how we can install the PyTesseract into this Conda environment. So let's search here for Conda and we can see that there is actually a command line here for us that shows us how to install the PyTesseract wrapper in our Conda environment. So let's go and copy this, put this into our terminal and execute this and and wait for this installation to finish. So again, we need to confirm here with and done. The installation for the PyTesseract is ready. So we are having now a Conda environment that uh, has everything that it's required to be able to start playing with the Tesseract and PyTesseract. So to make this process easier and to see if everything works, um, we are going to just check out the PyTesseract project and use the samples from that project. We're going to copy the HTTPS URL and just say git clone and paste this here. And with this, we clone the repository. So we have a folder now that is called PyTesseract. So let's go into that folder. All right, we are now in the PyTesseract folder. So within that folder, there is another one which is called test. So let's go inside. And if you look at their official documentation from PyTesseract, it tells us that there is a CLI utility that allows us, if the PyTesseract is properly installed, to test it very quickly. So we need to check first if this CLI is actually available. So we can see that this is already there. And so it tells us that we have to put uh, PyTesseract, then the language, and then the image file that we would like to use to scan and convert into, the into a text. So if you go into the test folder here in the data, we will see that we have a set of images and there is an image that is called test JPEG. So let's see what is on that image. So this is the text on the image. So let's try the CLI and see if we can actually scan this and convert this image text into actual text. So since I'm in the test folder, I need to set the language and then I need to set the location of the, of the image to scan and convert. So let's execute this one. And as you can see, the PyTesseract was successfully executing. We were able to scan the image and convert the image text into actual text that we can use to work with. So I hope you learned something and this was useful for you. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and see you next time.